On the 1874, the Raja Brook want to construct the fort at Langabare. Because why? It's easy to see on the side, on the right side, they can see the Batang Raja. On the left side, it's Batang Pare. I can put it. So anybody they cut across the Iban and the Kayan and want to put one another, they easy for them to monitor. Unfortunately, on the 1877, on the routine visit of this uh, Raja, Tuan Raja, Charles Bernard Brook, his boat was capsized at the, between Bale, uh, Lower Nanga Bale and above Kapi because of due to the strong current. And he was uh, be able to manage to save himself and swim to the shore. Uh, that's uh, why he got no choice to uh, put up the kubu where it's we stood here today. The Fort Kapit or Kubu Kapit, uh, it was known uh, on the honor of the wife of the Raja, Reni Selvia Brook. So this Fort Kapit and become changed name to Fort Selvia. That was in 1925. The Iban, who came from the uh, Kanyang and Batangai, they walk by past Katebas River. They kill whatever they can find of the other the enemies. That time nobody control them. That's why Raja Brook have to put up the fort here in order to control these the headhunters. On November 16, November 1924. The peace uh, treaty between the Iban, the Kayan, and the Kenya, where the leaders of the Iban was uh, Penguluko and uh, Jubang, and the Kenya and Kayan, the leaders was Taman Kila. Uh, they came from Upper Kayan. They came down after that where the peace want to sign with 95 long boat. They came down the rivers with 50 yards apart from each other. So when it passed the past the place where they anchored the other side is uh, uh, the Tuan Raja, child Benabrook boat or ship there that time. So the cannon was fired. To mark the peace was ready. The group of the Tamakayan and Kanya, they all shouting like make a war cry. And they passed the uh, Raja Child Benabrook ship. The Iban, the Iban warriors who, st who stood by on the bank of the Batang Rajang here and the front of the Kubu at that time, where they want to put up the Opachara or call this the ceremony here. They also ready with their uh, jabur or called parang or the spears, shield, and with their cloth skin of the bears or leopard skin with their headgears also. They are 4,000 4, people. After the ceremony where the Raja Brook speared the pig, and the peace already started the, between the Iba and the Kayan Kenya. The Tamangongko was printed by the Raja Brook. We can see the, the jar that was here. And then the uh, coat was printed with the one jar and they also Taman Kila. This one is the only remain for the peace between the Iba and the Kayan. That was printed to the Tomoko. But not many people have seen this Tajau.
Sarawak is special because we start from the beginning. You can read the history. Then we fought uh, and the Rajas came here and recalls the dead one to stop all the fighting between the Daya, the Iban, and the Kayan, and the Malays fighting among themselves and whatnot. We come together. Our chief ministers, our governors, they have their past experience to see that it's no point of executing uh, one another. And we knew that this is the place where our great grandparents have see what we say we enjoy. And we hope this to be keep in the heart and mind of the people of Kapi. So make the effort that we remain forever peace.